Hi, and welcome to this section of the tutor where we're going to continue our work with fractions. Um, this far we've learned about what fractions are, we've learned how to simplify fractions, and I've kind of spent a little bit of time teaching you what a fraction is, okay? And don't forget that fractions are just another kind of number. Uh, we talked about that before. Fractions are just numbers when you have some, you know, something less than one, you know, half of a pie, quarter of a pie, something like that. And because they're numbers, um, you can add them, you can subtract them, multiply, divide them, and, and that kind of thing. Um, and so in this section, we're going to learn how to add and subtract fractions. And we're going to do it when, uh, when you have a common denominator. And I'm going to teach you what a common denominator is here in just a minute. Uh, but just don't forget the big picture of what we're doing here. Fractions are just a certain kind of number when you're talking about things less than one. And we're just going to add them, and I'm going to teach you the rules on how to do that now. So let's go ahead and talk about adding and subtracting fractions. Okay? Remember back from the previous section, okay, here's a pie, my favorite thing in the world, pie, okay? And we've already talked about the fact that this would be one half of a pie, okay? You already know this, one half of a pie, okay? So you write it like this, one piece out of two possible pieces. So I've only got half the pie, okay? Now let's say over here on another table, I have a separate pie. Separate pie, fresh out of the oven, okay? Now I'm going to also divide that into two pieces, and I'm going to have this piece here I'm going to be talking about, okay? So here I have half of a pie, here I have another half of a pie. Nothing new so far, this is just half of a pie, here's another half of a pie, okay? Now what happens if I try to add these two things together, okay? You can kind of think about it for a minute here. Here's half of a pie, okay? You cut it in half, you got half of a pie. And the other half is in the trash can or something like this. And then you have a totally separate pie. You've cut, in, you know, your grandma cut it in half for you and threw the other half in the backyard. So I have half of a pie here and a half of a pie here. If I put them together, just forgetting about the math involved, what do you think you're going to have? Well you're going to have one whole pie, right? Because here's half of a pie, here's another half of a pie. If you put them together, you can see that you could kind of put this inside here and you would have one whole pie. So if you did that, then if you could, you know, kind of like a puzzle, take this piece out and kind of flip it over and put it over here, then what you would have is one whole pie. Okay? Like this. Okay? So what we've done is we've taken a fraction and we've added it to another fraction and we've ended up with a number here, okay? Now, how can this be? I mean, it makes sense just by looking at the pictures, but how does this added with this equal one? And that's what I'm going to teach you here, okay? Let's go ahead and write it down. One half plus one half, okay? Now, briefly, I want to go ahead and tell you, the number on the top, you already know what it means. It's the number of pieces you have. And the number on the bottom, you also know what it means. It's the total number of pieces in the pie, okay? But this top number has a special name, and it's called a numerator. And this bottom number has a special name, and it's called a denominator, okay? Numerator's on the top, denominator's on the bottom. You can kind of think of denominators, it just kind of sounds like low, denominator. It's kind of down low, okay? Low denominator, okay? So it's down here on the bottom. Just think of it that way. And numerator's on the top. The one rule of adding and subtracting fractions that you're going to have to learn, and it's not hard, is this. In order to add any two fractions together, the denominator of the fractions must be the same. They must be equal. So here the denominator is 2. Here the denominator